All right, Steve Spangler's back. Hello, hello. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Welcome to the interview. So it's pretty fun. <laughs> yes. So blue and yellow okay. are about the daylight saving Believe science. It's kind is of that an, right? Yeah, it's an elegant little demonstration. Let me show you how we did it. We first of all we have this aquarium that has a divider in the very middle. So that's going to be important for you to see here in just a minute because you're going to put your liquid on the side here. Okay. I'll put mine. Feel the bottle here. That's cold and this is hot. Okay, so our yeah. viewers just need to know okay. cold, cold, blue is cold, and then hot. So turn it upside down. Just going to pour it in. Go ahead and you're just going to fill the whole thing up. Alrighty. Got it. So what we really want to do is we want to see what the uh, the earth is doing or what the uh, uh, the atmosphere is doing. So watch this. This will come off to the side. And now I'm just going to pull the two and watch. So we've got yellow on this side and blue on this side. This? Yeah, that's perfect. So and now watch see. what happens when we pull. When we pull, we get the separation. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Now it's going to calm down here in just a second, but you're going to see a definite yellow layer on the very top and a blue layer on the very bottom. And that's exactly what we don't want uh, at this time of the year. You don't want the cold air being trapped at the bottom and the hot air at the very top, because if so, then all the pollution, the carbon right. monoxide, everything that we release stays in this bottom oh. layer. So look at this. What you really want is these oh. bottles over here. So take a look at this. Okay. I've done the same thing with juice bottles. So I have warm here on the bottom and I have cold here on the top. I'm going to turn the whole thing upside down. So the whole idea is to get our cars going when it's still warm outside. And so if we do that, take a look at this. See this temperature inversion that we get? We get this um, hot on the bottom and the cold on the top. And notice uh, we don't get the temperature inversion here and we do on the other side. So look at this mixing that you get. That's exactly what you want in the environment. Okay. So you want to drive when the or when the sun is heating the earth and the hot air is rising because we get this inversion or we get this mixing that's here, we don't want the inversion. Look at this layer here. See this almost brown cloud layer mm. that kind of sits there? So that warm air comes across, kind of sets there on top and traps all the cold air below. So long and short of it is, move those clocks forward. We want to be able to drive <laughs> I hope you have by, the, by now. <laughs> <laughs> right? And we want to make sure that we avoid this kind of situation that we see over Denver so much. But then quite often when it gets this bad, like this, they say don't drive if you don't have to at right, all. So we all have to take our leaf blowers out then and just blow the, at no, no, I am i don't know what you that, do at that point. You know, so. Steve's probably out there in his neighborhood going, woo! Because <laughs> I have nothing well, else to do. this is pretty here. cool. Isn't that fun? It's really, really easy to do and I put the whole write up for you up all on right. the website. Okay. okay. Interesting That's stuff, fun. don't you guys think? All right.